To demonstrate the power of the new magnetic levitation method, you can see I've got the little levitator in there, I've made one, one centimeter long of travel switches, which are ridiculously long. Um, but you can see that it works to lift the uh, switch all the way back up. It actually works fantastic. Now, I, I did not lubricate this one, but I did lubricate this one just to see what the difference would be. I lift it up. And the only difference, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel any different. The only difference is like the sound. They don't really feel any different at all. I guess it comes up a little slower. I might have used too much. But I mean, look at that. That's just magnets, one centimeter apart. And it doesn't bind at all, like I can press any, even though it's super duper long, I expect, you'd expect some sort of binding from the friction, but there isn't any. I can press any corner I want. That goes for the unlubricated one as well, which would focus. There we go. All four corners work fine. And this is a cool keycap. If you remember, that's transparent filament on the inside of the legend. So light shines all the way through the bottom. It's kind of neat. I, I doubt it would shine from this far away. <laughs> But yeah, this new uh, magnetic levitation method seems to work well. And it makes it so that the travel distance is actually parametric again. You can really make it as long as you want.